Hello everybody and welcome back to another Icepire EU4 video. I hope you enjoyed that little intro and I hope you're hyped up because what I'm about to show you may just be the most game-breaking exploit in all of EU4. I've been trying for a while now to see if I could modify any of the game files to see if I could change the badges displayed for the different bookmark start dates in the single player menu without disabling Iron Man achievements. This would allow the use of the exploit that allows you to change the ideas of any nation with a badge for every nation that has one. This alone would make achievements in the game a piece of cake. If you don't know about that exploit, I'll throw a card at the top of the screen here and I'll link it at the end of this video. So recently I was contacted by a viewer who figured out a way to do this, but they took it one step further. It wasn't just the bookmarks that they managed to change, but also ruler traits, province development, centers of trade locations, government types, generals, and so much more. All of these with Iron Man achievements enabled. They remember doing this exploit, if you'd like to call it that, a ways back and getting it to work for CK2, but was reminded by another viewer's comment about how to try this with EU4. By modifying a few key game files and saving them at just the right moment when the game starts up, we are able to bypass the check for modifications that disables achievements while essentially playing a modded version of the game. Using exploits to get achievements is frowned upon by some members of the EU4 community, and using this exploit, which is basically a modded version of the game, will probably receive even more criticism, so be sure to use this at your own risk. So now to talk about the exploit in a little bit more detail. When launching the game, we can see at the top of the loading menu exactly which files are being loaded before the game is ready to play. Looking very closely, we can see that the databases is the first thing to load. The game must perform a check for modifiers rather early in the loading process, because by modifying the database files like provinces or country tags, and saving before the database is finished loading, the game will start with the modified province and country values applied, with the option to earn achievements still active. There are a whole bunch of things that you can do with this file manipulation, I'm just going to show you the few basic applications, modifying and saving one file at a time, before going overboard mode to see just how far I can take this. The first thing we are going to do is manipulate the bookmarks. Follow along closely to this step because this is where I'm going to showcase how to effectively do the exploit, in order to save time explaining it for each use case later. Bookmark manipulation is only really useful when combined with the other exploit I mentioned, and allows you to make any nation have whichever ideas you so choose. Again, linked at the end of the video. The first step is to navigate to wherever your Steam apps are saved. Mine are saved on my SSD, and the thing about SSDs is that they help your computer load things pretty darn quickly. So if you have one also, this exploit may be a bit tricky just because of the timing issue. Navigate to your Steam library, Steam apps, common, EU4, common again, and then to bookmarks. Here you will see all of the names of the different bookmarks that are typically on the left side of the single player menu when you're in the game. The default bookmark is Rise of the Ottomans. We are going to be editing this file, so make sure to copy it and create a backup by pasting it onto your desktop or into a temporary folder. When you're ready, open up the file and replace any of the country tags with the nation you wish to play. Now don't save this file just yet, leave it on your desktop and launch EU4. From here, the timing is tricky. When the game switches from the title screen to the loading screen, quickly alt tab back to your desktop and hit Ctrl S to save the bookmark file. Going back to EU4, we can see that the bookmarked countries have changed, and that the Iron Man achievements are still enabled. From here, you can do the custom ideas exploit and play out a campaign as any nation you want. 
If you're having issues with the Iron Man achievements being disabled, simply save the file a little bit earlier or a little bit later in the loading sequence, and it should be okay. If it doesn't work, just keep trying and eventually it will. Now let's move on to tag manipulation. If we go back to the EU4 folder within the Steam apps, we can head to the History folder instead of the Common folder. From here we can either select Provinces or Countries. We're going to select Countries first. We're going to look for France and then open up the file. Make sure to create a backup of this one as well. In the file we can alter the personalities of the ruler, as well as change the pips of the generals and even their death dates. I'm not certain if this will actually make your generals immortal, but I thought it was worth a try just in case. We could modify more, including army professionalism and some other modifiers, but this should be good enough. One trick that I'm going to use here is to create a separate modified file instead of hitting the Control S to save the file in the country folder. I'm going to be pasting it in the country folder when the game loads up. This lets me easily repeat the steps if I mess up and the achievements are disabled. We load on into the game and can see that our ruler is a 666 immortal. We can also see that our generals have max pips. Even with no other exploits, I can easily beat up on England and Portugal and reconquest my land in a manner of minutes. But this is going to get even more broken when I dive into manipulating the provinces. Moving on to province manipulation, we go back into the history folder and then into the provinces folder. Here you'll see every province in the game organized by their province ID. This time we'll do a search for Lubeck, and can start modifying the document. I did the same trick here where I make a separate modified version of the file to paste into the provinces folder when the game loads in. Simply add a couple of zeros to the end of the production manpower and tax modifiers and you'll be unstoppable. Change anything else you'd like and we'll load into the game. Now we can see here that Lubeck is an absolute monster, with so much development that the game thinks that it's actually negative. So I guess, pro tip, try to keep the development under a million? We're making over 200,000 ducats a month and have millions of manpower in reserve. We also upgraded the center of trade in this province to level 3. Another thing that we did was give the province permanent modifiers. If you go into the EU4 wiki page for provinces, you can find permanent province modifiers listed. By just adding these lines to the document, we are able to get additional bonuses to trade power. And if you think this is pretty broken, just wait, it gets even better. By editing both the province file and the country file within the history folder, we are able to increase our development, change our country's religion and government type, and have immortal rulers. Here we flipped to Horde as Kale, and went to town on our neighbors with the Tribal Conquest CB. Seems pretty broken, right? But this isn't the easiest way to get the Eat Your Greens achievement. And now we can take it even further. I went and identified every province required for the Eat Your Greens achievement, arguably one of the hardest achievements in the game, and put copies of those in a separate folder. I then edited each and every file to give Kale cores and ownership of each of those provinces. I think you can tell where this is going. With backups in a separate folder, I copied the list of 129 provinces into the province folder for EU4, and waited to click the replace duplicate files until the right moment in the loading sequence. I had to try this probably over 50 times for it to work only once, and even then I hadn't edited the files properly so I was missing a few provinces and wasn't able to one-shot the achievement, which was probably a good thing. But you can clearly see here that Kale has full cores on almost every Asian grassland province, and achievements are enabled. With this exploit, it's just a matter of timing and willpower to get every achievement in the game that requires full cores on a certain amount of provinces. Now after a bunch of testing, I've found that editing fewer files makes it more likely that this exploit will work, and additionally, because country and province files are in the history files folder, they are more likely to work than files over in the common files section. For instance, if we go to ideas and edit the Ottomans traditions to give them 100% admin efficiency and 100% army morale, it's more difficult to conduct the exploit, since history files load in later than the database files. But that shouldn't stop us from being able to do it. I've talked with some other players and confirmed that this is possible, just maybe not for me. You can play around with which files you choose to modify and try to get the best results while minimizing the time waste of restarting the game constantly, when the exploit fails. But let me know in the comments what you managed to come up with, or better yet, join the Discord server. Here we have a dedicated channel for discussion and submitting undiscovered exploits to the community. I've linked the Discord in the description, otherwise you can find it here on my channel page. I hope you've enjoyed this exploit video, and if you did, be sure to subscribe down below to see more content like this, and drop the video a like. 
And if you want to hear more from me and the things I've been working on, go ahead and follow me on Twitter at IcepireGaming. Thanks everybody for watching, and as always, I'll see you next time.